Welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at converting numbers in base 2 into base 5. So, <clears throat> when you are converting numbers which are in base 2 into base 5, what you are going to do, you are going first to convert the numbers which are in base 2 into base 10. Then thereafter, you convert that number of quoted into base 5. So, let's get into today's lesson so that I demonstrate what I'm saying. Okay, so... <clears throat> So, here we have a question which is convert 101101 one, one, base 2 into base 5. So, what are we going to do? First, we are going to convert this number which is in base 2 into base, into base 5, into base 10. So, we are going to convert this number into base 10. So, let's write the figures in this number, the numbers in this figure. Okay. Okay. The figures in this number, they are 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so what is the place value of this number? It's 1s, then this one is 2s, this one is 4s, this 8s, this 16s, this h 2s. So those are the place value of the, of the numbers in the figure. Okay. So now let's see, find the, 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 the product of the number and its place value. So we're going to multiply this one by its place value, 0 by its place value, 1 by its place value. So open bracket, I'll say 1 by its place value, which is stage 2, close bracket, plus 0, uh, open bracket, then 0, plus of 0, not 0 plus, but 0 times 16 plus 1 by 8 plus, open brackets, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 plus 0 by 2. By 2, then plus 1 by 1. Okay. All right. Now, let's find the products. We are saying this one will give us 32. 1 by 1, that 1 by 32, that is 32, plus 0 by 16, that will be 0, plus 1 by 8 will give us 8, plus 1 by 4 will give us 4, plus 0 by 2 will give us 0. Sorry, let me put a plus sign here, then 0. Then 1 by 1 will give us 1. Okay, now we have found the product of these um, expressions inside the brackets. Then we are saying this one has given us stage 2. This one, 0 by 16, has given us 0. 1 by 8 has given us 8. 1 by 4 has given us 4. Then 0 by 2 has given zero. Has given us 0. Then 1 by 1 has given us 1. Okay? Now let's come, let's see, add, let's find the sum of these products. So I say, this one, 32, 40, 44, 45. So that is 45. Okay? So, 101101 one, 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 base 2 is equal to 45 in base 10. Okay, now let's convert this 45 into base 5. Okay, so I'll draw a flame here. Okay, I'm using the remainder method. If you don't know how to do it, you can check on, the, on our page of the video demonstrating how you can convert numbers in base 10 into base 5 using remainder method. So here I'm going to put 5 because I'm converting 45 into base 5. So I'll use 5 here. And then here I'll write R to denote the remainder. Okay. So I'll say how many times can 5 go into 45? We're saying 9 times. Remainder 0. Okay. How many times 5 can go into 9? It's 1. Remainder 4. Okay. How many times 5 
can go into one, we are saying zero remainder one. Okay, all right. Okay, now let's write the answer. Remember when you are, you are, when you are writing the answer, you start from down going upwards. What it means is the last remainder will be the first digit in the answer. So we are saying we write one first, okay, then four, then zero. BC, five. You always remember to write the base number because if you don't write the base number, that means that you have, the answer I've given is in BC. 10. Only base 10, that's why we don't often indicate the, usually we don't indicate the base number because uh, it's taken that it's in base 10. Okay, now let's, what does it mean? Now this means that, this means that 1, 0, double 1, 0, 1, base 2 is equal to 1, 4, 0 base 5. So we have successfully uh, converted 101101 one, one, in base 2 into base 5. So this is how we convert numbers in base 2 into base 5. Thank you so much for watching.